Hi NEET aspirants, welcome to An Academy NEET English. I'm your biology educator Ambika Sharma. So finally the wait is over. Finally the NEET application forms are out, right? Not like last year where you know the students were waiting for the notification, they were waiting for the update, they were uh, they were even thinking that might the paper will get postponed. But this time, right? Thank God, thank God, NTA has released the notification on time. So guys, there are a few changes already. I have made one video. I told you about it right that this time the information is on this particular website that is your neat.ntaonline.in let's say if you are trying to access the website and uh, if it is not opening there is nothing to worry about because so many students they are trying to fill their application form so might be the server is down okay so you can wait for some time so now students in this particular video we will talk about the documents required for the NEET examination I will tell you all the details I was reading the comments from the last video some students are confused about all India quota part and the state quota part they are not aware uh, like uh, some were saying that they are in open category in the, uh, as in uh, AIQ but uh, in state they are from BC so we will discuss all that things okay so do watch the video till the end I'm not going to take your much time I'll give you the important information then I will say bye bye to you because now our time is very 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 precious so here after going to this particular website this is the this is the home page that you are going to get and below it there will be the tab where you can just click on the registration form and you have to fill it up one by one so now because we need to talk about the important documents so everything is from the official right everything every information is from the official information bulletin and even in the description box also you can directly download the information bulletin from that description box right so here you can see again I'm telling you people that see your forms are out on 9th of Feb and it will it will go till 9th March so you have one month to fill up your examination form right and up to 5 p.m right do not wait for the 9th March and 12 p.m. of that 9th March no up to 5 p.m. it is right and that is for the submission of application forms and for the successful transaction of fees yes that fees you can fill till 11 50 p.m. but yeah do not wait for the last day because sometimes you know some server issues can be there okay but so here you people can see the fees as well for general category 1700 general EWS OBC NCL 1600 SCST PWD third gender 1000 rupees are there okay and your exam is on 5th of May as we all know right people now see after some time like uh, like even if you will refresh that tab on the website like exam.nta.ac.in on this website you will get your result and moreover 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 students on this nta.neet.in uh, on this particular website you will get the details of that application form as well so there is nothing to worry about now please look at it very 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 carefully Bache. this is I think this is the most important thing and you people should focus there I know when you fill up the ex examination form some students they make mistakes okay but you should not because I think that all the steps are so easy they are so clear right so you should be ready for that you should not make any mistake while filling up your application form so here you people can see these are the things that you need to take care while filling the application form because even after the opening of correction window you will not get the chance to change these things so please have a look no correction facility will be given at any stage after the regist uh, registration be extremely careful in filling the application form you can edit any information before submitting each section check again before pressing the submit button then they are saying read instruction carefully about photograph signature left and right fingers and thumb impression there there should be no mistake in that fingers and thumb impression bachi and in the certificates before uploading the mobile number and email id need to be verified through otp so basically for filling up the application form you should have one working mobile number you can use your mobile number your parents mobile number right you should have that mobile number because otp will come on that mobile number and email id should be there and always remember the password of that email id because further communication will be done through that email right students so now here you can see okay as I said the mobile number and the email address it should be proper students okay but so it is mandatory see here it is again they have highlighted it it is mandatory 
to provide the mobile number and email of the parents or guardians during the submission of the online application form clear bachche and yes this is another important thing so when you talk about the exam cities right when you are going to fill up that application form you'll be uh, you have to fill the exam cities now so it will be provided as per it will be on the basis of your permanent and the present address that will be filled in that application form okay so take care of that as well and it is my advice right that wherever you you will be there at that point of time now during your exam you should fill that center only okay you should avoid the traveling if you can so now here you guys can see if i talk about the eligibility criteria you know that now there is no upper age limit clear bachche there is no upper age limit but if i talk about the lower age limits so see for the candidates of general undeserved categories or uh, ews categories even for sc st obc ncl pwd born on or before 31 12 2007 right so this is this should be the minimum age that you need to take care okay that should be the minimum age that is 31 12 2007 so st uh, the students that are that are born uh, like they are born on or before 2007 right if you are born after 2007 after the december of 2007 basically in uh, 2008 right then you are not eligible for this exam for this particular year this is what you need to take care right students now let's see when you talk about these photographs and all see i don't know why students uh, make it a big deal see when you go for clicking your picture right obviously the ba background needs to be white your face should be clear and you 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 should have that passport size photograph along with that you should have your postcard size photograph try to keep both the photographs same that is my advice so see here passport size photograph right the size of that passport size photograph should be in between 10 kb to 200 kb okay uh, these days so many apps are there directly on the google you can upload your picture and you can increase and decrease its size okay bachche so when it comes to the postcard size photograph the again the size needs to be same bachche so the photograph must be taken on or after 1 1 2024 basically from this year right let's say in the january if you have if you have your pick from the month of january then it is fine bachche okay okay so when it comes to the picture right the name of the candidate should be clear with the date of taking the photograph i'll show you the pictures as well so let's say this is the passport size photograph so here your name and date of photograph it's not date of birth it is date of photograph it needs to be very clear there right students so photograph should not be with cap or the goggles and bache 80% see focus needs to be on the face 80% face coverage ears clearly visible white background should be there so please keep passport size and the postcard size photograph so, uh, see so spectacles are allowed only if being used regularly right bache and yeah boys this is specially for you right in some boys that beards and mustache they are too much right and especially when they are preparing they don't get the time to cut all that things and uh, suddenly when you go for clicking that picture if you are taking picture in that beards and mustache and when you are going for exam you are having that clean shave so sometimes it becomes difficult to recognize you people so please please keep the same look so i'll suggest you people that be in clean shave when you uh, when you click your passport size photograph and same right in the same way go for your examination that will be easy for you right bachche so photographs need not to be test attested like there should be no signature right neither self attested or not attested by any of the gazetted officer this is what they have mentioned bachche so candidates are advised to keep 6 to 8 for passport size photographs and 4 to 6 postcard size color photographs with white background so background should be white bachche right right so candidate may not no, uh, may note that if the photographs uploaded are found to be fabricated right or uh, d shaped or seem to be handmade or computer made the application will be rejected so please do not do any such thing okay students so now see here so here it is clearly mentioned same passport size and postcard size photographs are to be used for 
for uploading with online application form and for pasting on the attendance sheet so kindly take care of such things okay please take care of such things now let's move to the another document so here you can see when it comes to the signature so candidate should put his full signature in running handwriting it should not be in capitals like let's say if i'm writing my name like this no it should not be like this so simply you have to sign right that's right so in running handwriting on a white paper with black ink pen and then you have to scan it for uploading so you can use black pen right you can uh, sign on a white paper you can take a pitch pic, uh, you can take a picture you can basically scan it okay but so unsigned online application forms will be rejected so you have to upload your signature and the file size should be in between 4 kb to 30 kb so these are the things that you people should note down right for the photograph it was in between 10 kb to 200 for the signature it is in between 4 kb to 30 kb so before filling up the application form make sure that all the documents are in uh, right are in required format are in that dimension only then it will be very easy for you people to fill up the form okay so please take care of such things now which when it comes to left and right hand fingers and thumb impression they are also need to be uploaded in jpg format right so in appendix basically xx basically in 20th appendix they have given the template i'll show you that as well right bache so file size again should be in between 10 kb to 200 kb so unclear left and right hand hand fingers and thumb impression will also be rejected so you have to be very careful while uh, you know putting all that details in your application form so these are the personal details like your parents name right nationality gender all that things are required not so important but yeah here here for the students from yeah so tamil nadu if you are if you are from tamil nadu state board then please 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 listen to this information right so due to the covid outbreak no examination were conducted for 2021 batch of class 10th tamil nadu state board so this information is very important for the students of tamil nadu state board right so accordingly no marks were given in the mark sheet and pass is printed in all the subjects with a disclaimer okay students okay so all students who studied sslc in the academic year 2020 2021 they are declared pass so while filling up your application form when the candidate they select passing year as 2021 with school board as tamil nadu state board of school examination the result mode field will be disabled and associated field for the marks will be invisible so it is specially for the students of tamil nadu state board so if you are from tamil nadu the state board right so it is something very important for you kindly pay the attention here right but so now when it comes to the other certificates okay so when it comes to the other certificate like disability certificate right let, let's say if you are special right so then again there should be one certificate you can also download it from the information uh, bulletin that is also in the description box of this video right so there should be one affidavit on which all the things need to be uh, mentioned okay and the same for the caste certificate as well and same for the gap certificate now i know many students are having questions related to gap certificate related to caste certificate so first of all students i would like to mention it here see please pay attention these are the documents that you need for uploading right so while filling up the application form these are the documents that you need and here you need passport size photo pa postcard size photo left and right hand thumb uh, fingers and thumb impression signature category certificate person with benchmark disability or citizenship certificate so this is what you need while uploading uh, right by uh, these are the documents that you need for uploading okay so that gap certificate right you need it later okay later during that counseling time now when it comes to the category certificate i got a query on the telegram as well that see your examination right your application form will be filled from 9th of feb to 9th of march so if your if your caste certificate in, is valid in that particular time you can upload it and at the time of counseling even your result is expected in the month of june so at the time of counseling if that uh, caste certificate is expired then you should have your new caste certificate okay so that's the point now my suggestion is like like if you can get your caste certificate in new caste certificate in 10 to 20 days you still have one month time so you should go for that 
new certificate otherwise if you are if your caste certificate is having eligibility till this february till this march right you can use that and later on you can you can apply for the new caste certificate because i know in some states there is some you know eligibility like for two years it is valid or something like that this is what i know now some one student has asked me the question that ma'am when it comes to the all india level i belong to open category but when it comes to the state i belong to backward classes so student so according to me right whatever i know as per that uh, you should have like if you are interested in applying for all india quota then obviously you will come under open category in your state you can apply for backward classes but all and all i can suggest is all and all i can suggest is that allow me some time i will study it more and then i will let you know about it okay so this is all about the certificates okay so when it comes to the gap certificate again you need one affidavit for it right like let's say after class 12th you have taken a coaching or something right so accordingly right you will go to that government office there will be the affidavit right everything will be written on that and you will have that official document that's it that's all there is no rocket science in that but as of now for uploading this is what you know this is what you need right if you if any student is an uh, is nri then they need the citizenship certificate and all right so these are the details so still if there is any confusion related to this particular application form related to any of the form you are free to ask me put the comments in the comment section we are here to help you but now the one thing that i expect from you people is sincerity and the consistency be consistent just give your best and trust yourself i always mention this thing bache students are the game changers i can just guide you i'm guiding many students right but if you are getting good result means you have that vision means you are hard working so everything is in your hand right and i know my students can make it so all the best take care thank you so much everyone and yeah one more thing if you have any confusion any confusion related to related to the uh, format right again i will say you can put the doubts in the comment section and this is this is the template right your left hand right hand thumb impression uh, finger impression thumb impression the signature should be like this and the photograph should be like this so i think now there is no confusion at all students so take care all the best thank you so much